so I have a few minutes today. I just want to quickly show you how to triangulate your camera. So when, when it's mounted on a body panel, it's not like swaying all around. You get that jello-y, fuzzy, soft images. So I got my O2 Miata here, and I'm basically showing you the top part of how I'd set this up. I'm gonna have to use the GoPro because I'm using my camera to shoot this. So here's my GoPro rig. I've got a four and a half inch Woods uh, suction cup. It's got a indicator on it, so if you start loose uh, vacuum, uh, it'll show you that you're they're leaking. I got a 11 inch uh, magic arm on here so I can position the camera easier. And then of course at the top, I have this quarter inch, it's a bolt uh, sticking out of the top, which will allow me to connect the triangulation system to keep this from wobbling around. So this is where most people stop. They get the GoPro on there. Uh, normally they don't have a big long arm like that, but that even makes this problem worse. So the problem is when you mount a camera on a body panel, that body, body panel is just made out of sheet metal and it flexes. So the entire system can wiggle around. So while you're driving, that wiggling is gonna make, it, you're gonna, either your stabilizer is gonna try to take care of it or that system is going to uh, just be vibrating around and all your detail will go away. It'll look really soft. If you have a camera with rolling shutter, it'll just start getting all wavy and looks awful. So to solve the problem, I usually use one of these 3 8 inch rods. You can use a wooden dowel rod also, 3 8 inch works fine. And then I have this magnet that is meant to go on a window. There, It comes with two of them and they go on each side of the window. And I like these because they have this like non-stick uh, pad on it. Cut a little hole in there, like cut the little thing out and put this little quarter inch bolt on there, which will allow us to fasten the rod to it using these little tiny gear ties. I guess you probably already know that I love gear ties. They're super useful. And here's just another use for them. So you can see when I have this triangle here, it won't allow it to move within that triangle, but it still goes the other way. That's why we need two systems. And I, I'm gonna use what I normally use. It's a little bit different setup. A little bit fancier, uh, still a DIY. This is a uh, 95 pound hold magnet from Harbor Freight that I've covered in gaff tape. Then I have this little uh, Giotto's ball head on it. And this rod, I've threaded both ends. That way, if it's too short, I can put a coupler on here, add a little bit more length to it. But this is a 24 inch, usually pretty good for this type of situation.
So now you can see I have two pieces going down to the body panel. That gives me a, a much wider uh, stance and now if I try to wiggle the camera around it's much less likely to wobble. Like before it was super easy to get a lot of it out of it. Now with this triangulated uh, it's much more stable. So I'll show you how I do this. I usually put uh, get about that much. I'll put that around there and as tight as I can I'll make a twist. So I have a short end and the long end. Then I fold the short end over and then and then just run this in between the bolt and the rod and that tries to spread them apart and, and makes everything a little bit tighter. And then you have that nice and locked down. So that's it, just a quick idea on how to triangulate your camera. This would work fine with a mirrorless or small lightweight DSLR. Hope that helps. Love y'all and I hope to see you in the comments. Bye.